G'day and welcome back to Sam After Work. Today I want to do a quick little top up to my videos on rifle cleaning. Um, the one that I started to see some questions on and I realised I hadn't got to mention as well was the rimfire. What to do rimfire rifle cleaning? Um, and I suppose it would go into the same sort of story as that whole um, three videos I did in, in the web about, about rifle cleaning is that in the way of in rim fires you get with the extremes as well um, and for the best rim fires in the way they target shoot and that sort of stuff then they're cleaning every um, every match to every couple of matches every 50 or 100 rounds um, most of those guys are cleaning intensively extensively however you want to say that and these are rim fires set up in full bench rest format with barrel tuners and all the bits and pieces that rim fires have run for many years, but running super clean barrels all the time. Um, and then there is um, where I fit into the brackets of people who barely clean them at all. Um, and I suppose the, 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 the comment would be that there's more accuracy in some of those in those bench rest rifles, and I've no doubt, but I suppose I wanted to put forward what I do and also, I thought on that sort of score, what accuracy am I talking about? Um, well, to start off with, this is the accuracy I'm talking about. Um, most of the rifles, I have two particularly, we have a few of them, but I have two particularly. One that is the gun we use for pest control, the other ones we use for um, just trigger time, just sort of fun plinking time, but with both me and Sam doing a fair bit of shooting. Um, and both of them would be running, getting up in the five to sometimes 10,000 rounds a year, but at least 5,000 rounds a year each is what we've sort of figured out these two rifles would do. Um, just this one and the other little one you've seen on the channel beforehand, which is a little CZ farm. This is a CZ452. Uh, um, and largely shooting this 22, um, this is the, the lead, no, it's a round nose um, lead um, CCI, they call, it's got a little it was target ammo, I suppose what's called some form or other, but it's really, it says target on the box, but really it's just their standard ammo, standard velocity ammo that we use in the handguns as well, in the 22 handguns as well, but good, pretty consistent stuff. And um, plinking, whether it's our FTC target, which is shooting down to a quarter inch target at 50 yards. And in, in what we actually find out of that, we're both, above a 50% hit rate on that quarter inch um, target, quarter inch um, swinger at 50 yards, we'd be above 50% hit on that. So we're talking back down into, uh, you know, coming below a half MOA group to be able to pull that off um, is what this rifle shooting in and it does it very, very consistently. Um, those were the groups I just showed you then. That's what it actually looks like. Um, as to the, the, the grouping side of things. So listen, I've no doubt that's not world-class by any means whatsoever, but it works really nicely for us. Um, and both those rifles, I should say, would be uh, coming up into the, I don't know, 20,000, 25,000 rounds um, easily. And now I'll go into the cleaning regime that I do and what we do, and that's how they shoot. And that would be, it would be no more often. It might be as often as once a year, but it would be no more often than once every half a year, so once every six months, that I would actually clean the barrel. And I don't really clean the barrel at all. What I do is I grab this mop, which is a not too tight fitting mop for a 22, and I have it so that I put a little tiny bit of ballistol, I wipe it all off so it just is sort of oily feel, with that you can't see anything and I'll push that through once, I'll wipe it off, I'll push it through again, and I'll wipe it off with a rag, so I push it through and then pull it back. Or actually, the, what I really do is I pull it off and I'll screw it off the first time, I'll wipe off the excess there, I'll put it back on, then I'll push it through, if it's not too dirty, I'll pull it back, wipe it off again, I'll do that one more time, and that's done. That's my barrel cleaning. No concerns about carbon ring, no concerns about looking inside the barrel, just making sure they've got the main grime out of it. That's what I would do probably sometimes only once a year, sometimes twice a year. What I do regularly, and I would do this, so what am I talking there? Numbers I'm talking, 
um, up to 5,000 rounds. But let's be really, really conservative and say 2,000 rounds. Every 2,000 rounds, I'm doing that. Not trying to remove lead, not trying to do, very, do anything other than clean the excess carbon out. Um, and I suppose I'm also seeing if there's a problem. I've never actually found a problem there. When there has been an inaccuracy thing, it'll be to do with the parallax, so it'll be to do with the fact really the day was just too much mirage and we were not getting the group because of the mirage shooting the way we do. That's one of the things we do bang into. But what I do do fairly regularly, so once every probably, there isn't really a, a round count to it, but it's probably every 300 to 500 rounds, um, uh, just every so often is I pull the bolt and I clean the bolt. Um, fairly simple process I'll go there is I use the toothbrush like I use the other thing and I'll just toothbrush off everything um, to make sure that it's clean on that sort of level. So I'll just toothbrush around the place. I'll grab my oily rag that I use for everything which is a thoroughly soaked rag that's been looking like this for the last I don't know, eight years. Um, and I'll wipe off everything. So then I'm sort of wiping everything down and just making it so it's visually clean. And then I'll do the same thing, whether it is with a bit of the, the gun grease or it's a, with a little spray of, um, I won't do it out here, um, but of the ballistol. But I make sure the bolt is wet. This actually still feels wet because not that long ago I did it. But that, um, if there's any gunk around here, then I'll run just a, a bore mop through there, or sorry, a, a chamber mop through there. And uh, it's a very rare thing I have to do in that sort of stuff. They stay pretty clean, actually. Um, but that's pretty much the work that I do to it. The one bit I'll do occasionally with the bolt, which I've said previously as well, on the same on the other one, is I'll run a bit of contact cleaner through it. Um, that probably happens once every um, year at the most when I do that sort of cleaning, but really that's the cleaning I do, and there's no more cleaning than that. So I've no doubt that um, you could get, well, no, I should say, I've no doubt on a target rifle and something that is running a barrel tuner and trying to get the absolute extremes out of it, I've no doubt that there is a lot more accuracy with, the, with a heavy barrel and that sort of stuff, you know, coming down to where it is the quarter MOA or something like that. I don't know, it's not a, not a competition I go into, it's not something I shoot. I've spoken to both sides of that crowd, the guys who clean them really regularly, and I've certainly spoken to people who say that they felt that's what went off. They should have cleaned it the match before um, because that one went a bit off and they felt it was to do with cleaning. Or it was to do with the barrel tune, or it was to do with something other happening. So I have spoken to those guys. I've also spoken to the other side of that are up in the similar neck of the woods, maybe not quite at that level, but who say they don't clean much more than me. Um, and their comments were, yes, some of the guys, when they, sh when they shoot a match, then they go and tell it off with a good thorough cleaning. Um, but I'm sure that all the best do the full cleaning. So it is works for that sort of system. And I wouldn't try and say it doesn't. What I do find is that almost not cleaning, and I wouldn't say it's not cleaning. It's still, like I said, whether it's keeping the outside of it, that little oily with the, with the rag side of things where it's keeping the bolt clean and the occasional check. I wouldn't really say I'm cleaning by pushing this through. What I'm doing is just checking. If it was tight or there was something wrong or it just, the, the, I could feel something or other, I don't know, but the, I could see something, then maybe you know, I'm looking for a problem. In my experience at this one here would conservatively have 30,000 rounds in it when I think about it. The other one I don't know, I bought second hand and it was an old rifle then. Um, and I've done conservatively another 20,000 rounds in it. They shoot the same as the first day I shot them. And they still shoot now. Um, the other rifle has only shot the slow stuff. This thing has shot probably over a thousand rounds of the CCI Velocitor. Um, really all performs the same. They shoot really well. The, the using them shooting them, it's all about trigger control, it's all about trigger time, it's all about follow throw and all the things that you learn out of um, using a 22 properly and doing lots and lots of them really works. Um, and as you can see, they are holding down a decent group. By the way, that target, if you want a scale size, I showed you those images of what it grouped like. Here's one of the clean targets. There it is against my finger. So, you know, you're talking, they were on 10 shot groups, still pulling, holding in under a uh, 
just over or just under half an inch at 50 yards um, but there's definitely a fair bit of the three shot groups amongst all that sort of stuff that will weigh down in under the quarter inch sort of stuff anyway that's um all just at 50 yards and obviously conditions and things affecting it's a slow moving bullet but i just wanted to go through with people who want to know my thoughts on um, rim fire cleaning it's pretty much the same you gotta work out what suits you um, and uh, that's what we do anyway guys once again, leave your comments below, what you do below. Um, but thanks for checking in, and we'll catch you next time.